focus in the building. We stay building. Uh, I'm so high, I see my vessel that my soul's attached to. No lie, I'm like a lion when I'm rhyming at you. From the solar plexus, golden fire rises at you. I play the pressure. Well, they do call it Bubblegum Island for a reason. Uh, and I think it was about 15 years ago that we first came backpacking out here, uh, travelled all round uh, and came to Copenhagen and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was an amazing place. Uh, and then came back again, like a few years later, did some painting here with some friends and then again eight years ago and then uh, the last five years I've been here full time and I'm loving it, yeah, it's great. So that's kind of where it started. Wow, we came from the stars and we came to planet Earth and we're here to do amazing artwork and just to be positive beings on the planet. But no, quite seriously, where Starlab was invented was when I was back in the UK. Um, really trying to get back out to Asia and I kind of went a little bit different with my artwork and was thinking more kind of futuristic kind of elements within the work and kind of with the lighting and everything else. So the idea was to create this brand with a team of artists, Style Up Industries, um, and just go rock loads of amazing artwork at different hostels and clubs and bars, as well as doing like live painting and sticking with everything that we're doing now. So yeah, it's, it's been on a journey, created in the UK, to the stars, and then to Cape Vanyan. <laughs> uh, it wasn't me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> in graffiti art and uh, mural art, uh, graffiti has always been a massive part of my life, definitely. I was really inspired by like graffiti art, especially with like the explosion of like the hip hop era as well. I mean, there's a deep, deep history with graffiti anyway, but definitely during that time when I was growing up um, and seeing like cool graph and stuff on trains and, and in, in public places, I was like, this is a really cool art and I really got into it. Um, and kind of went to Europe with a few friends on some little festivals and kind of painting in different places. Came to Graffiti Copanyan um, and did some nice artwork in some of the, the hostels and the bars here. Um, so yeah, definitely a lot of background with graffiti art, spray can art, the traditional form. As I say, my art's kind of moving in different ways now, but um, graffiti art is something that I've always loved. The other thing you said was mural art, and I guess that is kind of, um, when I think of murals anyway, I think of like the you know, creating pieces in, in public spaces and also commercially, like in clubs and stuff. So I guess that's emerged through the, you know, my transition from the graph to other work as well. So, yeah, I love it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Fully, I mean, what can you say? I think you just always got to stick at it. Like, however, However you do it, just uh, just stick at it really and, and enjoy it. So that's the advice I'd, I'd give. I mean, you know, there's been countless jobs I've had where I'm just stacking boxes or in call centers, wherever, just to make enough money to do my art. And don't be disheartened if you're not making money from it to start with, but um, just keep on it, just keep going and uh, don't give up and enjoy it along the way. I don't know, there's been so many that I've really, really enjoyed here. Um, I mean, the setting of painting on somewhere so tropical with amazing people around is so different from obviously painting in the, in the cities and stuff. So obviously straight away memories is, is kind of having that tropical background here at the same time. Oh man, it's so difficult. Uh, best memories, painting out in the sunshine. Uh, Man, uh, painting the king um, for a Thai, Thai family recently in their house. Uh, that was really, really nice during the week of the funeral as well. So it was a really special moment for them and it was something that I was so honored to be asked to do. Uh, more of the fun ones, as I say, I think just, just painting outside in the sun and, and having people, you know, friends walk past and just, just the general atmosphere, the energy that it has here is, um, is a memory within itself. <laughs> Not much actually, apart from think about doing more painting. Uh, no, I think quite seriously. Um, uh, what do I like to do? I think it obviously, you know, I like to, there's films that I'm really into that inspire me, like 
with my artwork, Star Wars, <laughs> and a few others. Um, so yeah, a good film, um, some good food, some good conversation, um, taking the dogs down to the beach, having a swim, and just trying to be healthy as well at times. <laughs> Art philosophy. Well, <clears throat> my David Attenborough voice isn't that good, but I'll it'll be in that style. Uh, art philosophy, I would say really, um, art philosophy. Always remember, although it may be a term of contradictions, that painting is always there just to be enjoyed and to not take too seriously. But remember, at the same time, if you're an artist, a DJ or anyone that's creative, you have the power to reach a lot of people so just remember that and if you can put messages within your work that are positive then do as much as you can take it seriously but don't and uh yeah keep on keeping on <laughs> well enough thanks <laughs> <laughs> yeah just god that was quick god that was really off the top of the head okay. Shout out, yes, well, to the KP family. Uh, big shouts to Panyangis, first of all, one love. Um, yeah, shouts to Fractal Firth, Colour Fighters, uh, Charles D, uh, Robin Hogarth, DJ Andy Newman, 49ers, all friends back at home, much love, family. And uh, yes, keep it real. Even if we did.